Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. It's a girl Fanny Lungu back with another reaction video. If you're new to this channel, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and of course, do not forget to subscribe. Like I said, my name is Fanny Lungu, and on this channel, we we'll post reactions each and every day. So if there's something that you guys want us to react to, let us know by dropping the link in the comment section below, and we'll be more than glad to to do it so a big shout out to the people that keep on subscribing the people that have subscribed thank you so much thank you for giving us stuff to react to thank you for liking commenting sharing everything that you guys have been doing we are very very grateful and thank you for 17,000 subscribers you guys are the best a big shout out to you guys and i really hope you're doing all right i may stay blessed so today we're going to be reacting to dev Chappelle reviews how he found Islam at a pizza shop. So, without wasting time, let's get into the video. You're, you're a Muslim? I am. When did you become Muslim? I was 17. What were the circumstances? I don't know, it was like believing in God and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm not like, you know what I mean? I should preface this by saying it's not like I'm good at it. <laughs> When I was 17, I was living in Washington, and there was a pizza shop across from my house. And it was like all these Muslim dudes that worked in there. And I used to go in there and crack jokes. And I also, I was a naturally curious guy, and I would ask him questions about his religion. It was, and the guy was so passionate about it, it was very compelling. I liked the perspective of it, and, and I think these things informed my decision that I wanted to have a meaningful life, a spiritual life. I'm reading about you being Muslim, and they reference something that I was fascinated by, the well of Zamzam. -Zam. There's a well called Zamzam in yeah. Saudi Arabia. And the myth goes that a family walking through this desert dying of thirst, and this endless well presents itself. You and I could go see it. Right, so I could go see it. You'd yeah. probably have to make some phone calls. <laughs> <laughs> have, have, you, have you been there? I have. It's only welcome to Muslims. It's not a tourist location. No, nor should it be. The man is the prophet Abraham and his wife. The word Zamzam that you guys speak out literally means stop, stop, because the, when it was commanded that this well would appear, the water gushed forth so much that the wife screams, stop, stop, because it, it was so overwhelming. And they say that it's an inexhaustible well. Mm -hmm. The thing that comforts me about it is the idea that all of this is from a singular source that this source is ultimately kind, and even though we may not understand the intentions of this source, they were all connected and bounded by it. You know, like Islam, as it's been presented in the public space, is such a narrow and, and, and dismissive view of, of a religious belief. It's a, it's a beautiful religion, like a beautiful religion. And the ideas in that religion are reflected in all the major Abrahamic faiths. You'll see these ideas in Christianity or Judaism, you know. But the idea is that this place does mean something. It's a place where you come to learn, where you come to know. You get here knowing nothing, you get a head full of shit, and then you, you go on. Mm. When the uh, current president says, uh, you know what, we're going to look into keeping Muslims out of this country, well, how does that make you feel when that happens? You don't expect necessarily that much empathy or compassion or cultural astuteness from a guy like that. What you're sad about is that the chair doesn't have more humanity in it. But has that chair ever been that humane? When Biden called Trump the first racist president ever, well, clearly that's not true. So how do I feel when I hear a white person say some stupid shit? <laughs> Very interesting, guys. Um, anyone has a full clip or something, please link it in the uh, comment section below. This was interesting. I mean, it's like... I don't even know. I didn't think. I mean, it's amazing that he's um, Muslim. And I like the question that was asked about at the end, how he felt about Trump's move. And Trump is not the first racist president. There have been others as well. We just, if it wasn't just clear. Otherwise, I love the way he explained the Zamzam thing. I didn't even know it meant stop. I don't think the other videos have mentioned that before. Otherwise, it's always good to react to such videos because there's always something new to learn. And I like that he was curious. Once you're curious, there's so many things that you are um, bound 
to find out during your curiosity phase this was interesting let me know what you guys think make sure to give this video a thumbs up share it with your friends and of course do not forget to subscribe and i'll see you in my next reaction video